Hello students, it's Miss Norris. Today's video is about making tables to show the sample space. It's a little bit more organized than just making a list. The first example says, a pair of black or white converse are available in sizes seven, eight, or nine. Make a table to show the sample space. Made a super simple table. I'll put the color options along the top and the size options along the side. And then I'll just fill in each of these boxes with the corresponding outcome. So for this box, well, it's in the black column and this row seven. So I'll write B7 for black converse size seven. And then we have black converse size eight and black converse size nine. Pause the video and think about what I'm gonna write in the next column. Hopefully you said white seven, white eight, and white nine just to make sure you understand how to read it, how many outcomes are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different combinations for the shoes. There are six outcomes. I'm not counting the top or the sides. And then the second question is how many outcomes with a size eight or a nine? So in these six different combinations, how many of them show size eight or show size nine? Well, there's four of them. These four are either a size eight or a size nine. Let's do one more example. Example two says, what are all the possibilities for a two person rock, paper, scissors game? If you played 20 games, how many would you expect to end in a tie? Well, when I play rock, paper, scissors, I have to choose rock, paper, scissors, and my opponent chooses rock, paper, scissors. So that's two actions. So here's my table. Each of these boxes represents something that could happen in the game. This first box means I pick rock and my opponent picks rock. This one would mean I pick paper and my opponent picks rock. And then this one means I pick scissors and my opponent picks rock. Take a moment, pause the video and think about what's gonna go in the next uh, row. Hopefully you said rock, paper, 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 and scissors, paper. Pause the video again. Okay, hopefully you said rock scissors, paper scissors, and scissor scissors. So that's everything that could happen during a regular rock, paper, scissor game. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different possibilities, nine possible outcomes. Now, if I play 20 games, how many of them end up in a tie is the other question. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna circle all of the ties. Well, there's a tie game when we both pick the same thing. So I have these three out of nine. I can simplify that fraction by threes and I get one third. A third of the game should end up being ties. And since I'm playing 20 games, I'll multiply 20 times one third, pause the video, do the math. I get 20 over three, which is improper. So I'll use some division and I get 6.666 repeated. So about seven of the games should end up being a tie if I play 20 games. Now, if you wanna have some fun and there's someone around, maybe go play 20 games with that person and see if you do get seven of them in a tie or more or less. Talk to you later, bye.